What's up everyone, Eric here from Hardware for Gamers. A little while back I watched a video from Jay's Two Cents about painting a CPU heatsink. And Jay showed that the CPU temps only went up about 3 or 4 C after he painted the CPU heatsink. Now what I want to do is take this concept and go a little bit further with it. So I got two Neptwin coolers, the Neptwin White and the Neptwin V2. The first thing I wanted to test is, is there a difference between a bare heatsink and a heatsink with a factory applied paint? And if there is, how much of a difference is there? Now the Neptwin White and the Neptwin V2 are very similar, but they're not exactly the same. The Neptwin White has a white factory applied paint and a bare copper heatsink. Now I believe the Neptwin V2 also has a copper base, but with a nickel plating on it. I'm not sure how much of a difference this will actually make, but it is definitely something to make a note of. Now I've already tested both of these heat sinks using the same fans, that being the fans that come with the Neptwin V2, and that's to keep all the testing as close to apples as apples as I can. Now for the testing, the testing is to render a blender scene, specifically the barbershop scene. This render lasts about 16 minutes, and as the test is running, I'm logging the CPU temperature every second using Open Hardware Monitor, and I'm taking room temperature readings using my digital thermometer. I run this test three times, and between each test, I shut down the system and remove the CPU heatsink, and then I reapply the CPU heatsink. Now before I put up the benchmarks, the test system, the CPU I use is the Ryzen 5 3600, overclocked to 4.1 gigahertz on all cores at 1.2 volts. The CPU thermal interface is the IC Graphite Thermal Pad. The motherboard is the ASRock X470 Tai-Chi. The RAM is two 8 gig sticks of Corsair Vengeance 3600. The GPU is the Gigabyte RX 590 Gaming 8G. The PSU is the Corsair CS750. The OS drive is a 250 gig Western Digital Blue SATA 3 M.2 SSD. And all tests were performed on an open air test bench. Just to indicate, all these temperatures are shown as a Delta T. So you will have to add in your own room temperature. So the Neptwin White had an average temperature of 36.75 degrees, and again, that's over the three runs, and had a max temperature of 38.7 degrees. The Neptwin V2 had an average temperature of just under 35 degrees, with a max temperature of just under 37 degrees. So all in all, yeah, we're only looking at around a one and a half degree temperature difference, which is pretty much within the margin of error, but not quite. So we're really close to one another. So the factory applied paint really doesn't do all that much to the performance of the heatsink. Now, after doing those tests, I sanded the Neptwin V2 with a 180 grit sandpaper as best I could, and then painted it black using a high heat enamel spray paint. The reason I went with a high heat enamel paint is that I'm painting a heat sink. So there's going to be a fair bit of heat, not the 650 C that the paint is rated for, but still a good amount of heat. Another reason I went with this paint is you don't need a primer, which reduces the number of variables and reduces the thickness by not having a layer of primer on the heat sink. So now let's test this thing out and see if I did a really cool paint job or just ruined a heatsink. So here we are on the computer. I have the painted heatsink in the computer. I have Blender opened up and Open Hardware Monitor going, logging the information. So let's hit F12 and here we go. So I'm gonna speed this up just so it doesn't take the whole 15, 16 minutes. Okay, so my digital thermometer is saying that the room temperature is 25.5 degrees Celsius. So that works out for the max GP, or max CPU temperature rather as 37.1 degrees, which is pretty much the exact same as the bare heatsink, which means didn't actually change the temperature at all. 
That's kind of interesting. So I'm going to run the next two tests and get all the information and then put up the chart. So after all three tests, the average CPU temperature was 35.1 degrees Celsius, again as a delta T, and the max CPU temperature was 37 degrees. So pretty much nothing changed. It's all within the margin of error. So apparently using this paint doesn't actually affect the temperatures, at least in my testing, that is. Now, I'm actually pretty uh, surprised about these results. Uh, this is not entirely what I was expecting. I was actually expecting to ruin this heatsink. Apparently, it didn't change anything. Okay, so I just took the heatsink off the computer, and I have noticed that there are, uh, I guess, some scratches or whatever from the stupid little clips that clip in the fans. So, temperatures are pretty good, but you do then have to kind of have the set it and forget it mentality because it does not look like not having a primer seems to hold the paint on well enough. But like, it doesn't come off in your hands, but if you scrape it, it does seem to come off. So, something to keep in mind if you are planning to follow suit here. Well, I think that's all I wanted to say. If you do have a comment or any questions, leave them down below. And now all the normal stuff. If you like the video, you know what to do. Subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.